This exercise set is called the Karana Kriya. The Karana Kriya is loosely translated to mean the beautiful movement of life. Many people do this exercise as if it was a kind of Hatha Yoga, which is primarily for the musculoskeletal system. In actuality, what it's for is in the same way that of Tai Chi, it's for the movement of the light through the body. And so it's done in a flowing manner with, ex with extensions, light extension. And it is not about seeing how far you can bend or stretch. So you begin then by making your hands more sensitive. And you've seen this process in other videos where you tune your hands in so that you can feel the prana between the hands. You do that until you can feel the prana moving. And then, in order to test exactly how far to extend your movements and extend your hands, what you can do is you can feel how alive your hand is and then slowly move it forward. And you'll notice that it feels more and more alive, more and more alive, more and more alive. And then it starts to stretch too far and the sense of aliveness starts to drop off. You want it right here where all the joints are, are reaching and open. The flow is at its maximum. The same thing is true with the spinal cord. As you reach up with the crown, you reach up to the point where you can feel maximum aliveness here. Once you have that established, you can begin. In the first movement, you have, you sit gently into your hips, slight bend, slight bend to the knees. No joints are locked out because everything wants to flow and be in extension. You can feel the energy flowing up from the earth, especially in this case when I have a, a cotton mat here instead of rubber. So the energy of the earth can flow through that. And then I have a wool tiger and the wool can keep the energy that I charge it with. So beginning to draw the energy up, you slowly come up onto the balls of the feet. And when you get to the top, you find that point where there's the maximum sensation in the palms. The fingertips are just touching, so there's room for prana between the hands. Drop the hands down and out. Feel the hands brushing through the prana, through the air. And again, two more times, bringing it up. And down, exhaling down. Inhaling up, slow, beautiful movements in extension all the way through the movement. And then you do it three times to the back of the hand. Just touching. Long, easy breath, inhaling up. Still coming up to the balls of the feet. And one more time. Feel the energy dripping off the fingertips. And caressing the energy body on the way down. And ground. You begin the next movement. You lock the thumbs together. And I'll be reaching with the left hand first because that is the feminine side or prana. I reach up until I feel maximum aliveness and reach with the crown of the head as well and reach with the left arm. Now, this is not about bending over as far as you can, this is about finding the point where you're flowing as much light, as much prana as you can. And back to the center, inhaling, reaching up. And go to the point of maximum flow. It's like a dance in slow motion. You 
extending the energy from the fingertips, both in the middle and at the point of, of maximum aliveness. Picture the energy in the fingertips extending. And up for the last time. And again, brushing the prana on the way down. Feel the brushing across the palms. Step forward with the left foot. Connect the thumbs behind. Open up the heart and extend the crown forward, keeping the spine straight, keeping the knee soft. And reaching up with the crown, opening the heart. Feel that maximum aliveness in the palm. That's exactly how far you need to go. So your body is the instrument that tells you what it needs. And one more time. And slowly release, relax. Feel the flow going through the body. Right foot forward. Switch thumb positions with the other hand forward. And then reach out behind until you find that place where you're very alive. Reach with the crown, go straight forward, keep a straight font spine. Now you'll notice when you do this that at the time that the that the energy in the hands is at its maximum, the energy in the crown is at its maximum as well. And one more time. Reach as much as you can. And relax. Hmm. Bring the palms together at the heart, making sure that there's enough space in there for breathing. Always keep that space available so that you can continue to generate the prana. Reach up and back, reach at the crown, reach with the heart. And notice the flow through the fingertips, through the palms, through the crown, through the heart. through the power center, solar plexus, keeping the spine straight, bend forward, reach at the crown, and again, one more, two more times. You can also have the fingers almost touching, and you can feel or even picture the flow of light between the hands. And the last time up, and back, reaching up with the heart, opening the heart. And gently coming forward, brushing the aura. And the final one, we'll do a cobra. And the way that we do the cobra is picture yourself as a cobra, reach forward with your head so that you can sense yourself articulating, flowing. That's more, much more important than pushing up. You, want it, you can push up a little bit, but just enough so that you can keep that flow going. So you place your hands near your, near your shoulders, but they're very light on the ground. Reach forward with the crown, especially the bindu point, right where the three sutras meet at the top of the head. And reach up with that, and then look up. Look left. Look right. And down. Again, reach out and up. Keeping it straight, and then at the left, look up. 
and then flow between left and right like liquid light. You'll also notice the prana at the soles of the feet. The light's flowing through the entire body now. Reach out with the crown, then look up and move. Gently roll over on the back. Now to help open the spine, you can do this palms up or, pal or palms down, and I invite you to do it both ways to see how you feel the difference. Using the heels to rock the spine, rock it about five or six times. And feel the energy flow through the body. The body's really open now. There's rivers of light flowing all the way through. And again, five or six times. Release yourself. Release yourself completely. Feel the soles of the feet, the palms. Feel the sex center, the heart. Feel the throat, the third eye. Picture the light flowing through the body, connecting all these parts. And picture the crown. One final time, rock three or four times. Just enjoy the feeling for a moment. And slowly come up. The way that you come up from lying to sitting, you want to come up so that it's a smooth movement and you're not jerking so that you lose your prana. As you slowly come up. Give yourself an Omani Padme home. Om Thank you.